Well, every family has at least one mystery, an intriguing person, a possible connection to somebody famous or maybe somebody infamous. The Kentucky Historical Society is excited for the return of another season of Kentucky Ancestors. And you know what we are too. It's a show dedicated to digging into the roots of Kentucky's family tree to answer big questions that have eluded families for generations. This has been such a favorite feature right here on our show, and we're going to share the newest season during the second half of Great Day Live today. But first, to give us a sneak peek at what to expect, joining me today is the season's host, a familiar face here on our show, Heather French Henry. Heather, I'm so excited to talk to you about this. Oh, Claudia, it's always great to talk to you and to introduce this wonderful second season of Kentucky Ancestors. This truly is one of those shows that's right at Kentucky's heart. And you and I both, you know, Kentucky born, Kentucky bred gals just really love digging into Kentucky history. And these five episodes for season two are really going to blow you away. And congratulations on hosting the show. Uh, we love watching the show this year. We're going to love it even more now that you're involved with it, right? But why, <laughs> why was it important to you when this kind of crossed your desk? You thought, wait a minute, I really want to be a part of this program. Well, you and I get a chance to do some really interesting, have interesting opportunities come across our paths. And this particular opportunity allowed me to really dig into Kentucky history. I'm a lover of history, especially military history with my military and veteran background. But this specific one project with all of the 200 applicants that actually filed to be a part of the show, Kentucky Historical Society chose five. And what's really great is this show actually talks about the breadth and just the depth of all of the genealogical archives that the Kentucky Historical Society has. And a lot of people don't realize, and you know, as you get older, you start caring a little more about your genealogy. And I wish I would have known about all of these wonderful assets that we had in the state in Frankfurt when I was a bit younger, because when you start digging into your family's past, that's where you can really start to separate fact from fiction. And I think that that's what's interesting in this whole investigative process, right? So KHS has all of these wonderful experts and they have wonderful archives. You'll see through this series that we dive into enslaved records, which are really hard because they were few and far between. The KHS has done a great job of building such a wealth of information about enslaved families. And this one particular episode I'm talking about will also be pretty heartbreaking in some of the information they were able to find out. But in our first episode that you're going to see, it actually encompasses a gentleman, a descendant from Ohio that actually tied into this Kentucky story. And other episodes, you'll see history about Kentucky and Ohio River waterways and those historical records they were able to dig into. So at each episode, you're gonna get some really vital information. If you wanna go, you or your family wanna go on their own to go to the Kentucky Historical Society, aside from this show and actually dig into your family history. So for me, it was a win-win situation all around. You know, and I think the Kentucky Historical Society, I know you'll agree, what a wonderful treasure we have right there in Frankfurt. If people have never been, oh my goodness, it is amazing. And to hear that only five out of the 200 to be there at the table to choose those. What do you think about those stories and, and the family background kind of rose to the top to say, let's dig into this. I think what's really great is that these five stories, um, as I stated, kind of pick on different sets of archives that the Kentucky Historical Society has, and it helps to highlight some of those unique abilities that KHS has. What's really fun is though, you know, you have those wow moments, right? When you're on set and you're filming these and, you know, the first show that we tape, which was a little out of order, actually came from a family from Bracken and Mason County, which of course I knew the family <laughs> from the time I was born. So you had that really interesting tie. And then the very next guest for another story, more about the river waterways, uh, was actually a cousin on my husband's side of the family. So you just oh, wow. have those weird connections. <laughs> yes. and of course, we are Kentucky, right? So <laughs> yeah. we're only a couple of We're only one cousin apart when it all comes down to it, right? <laughs> Maybe. Sometimes. Sometimes. How, how can people <laughs> apply to be on this show? How can they say, hey, help me out? Help me, help me put this mystery together. 
there's such wonderful information on our website at history.ky.gov. You can not only find out how to apply for the show, but you can find out about the wealth of opportunities at the Kentucky Historical Society. Um, you can also find the television schedule. Of course, the first episode is going to be airing here shortly, uh, right there on Great Day Live, which we're really excited about in the Louisville and Jefferson County area, the viewing area. But, you know, to find out more information about how you can get involved in a plethora of activities, you know, even the Kentucky Historical Society in the summer, we're building up a wonderful new edition, a women veterans exhibit in conjunction with an all female honor flight. So there's just a wealth of information on that particular website. So I would encourage everyone to go um, and to relive what the Kentucky Historical Society really is. And this show just really is the culmination of just a little bit of what they have to offer. Heather, can't wait to have you back here in the studio. We want to tell everybody to find out more about the Kentucky Ancestors Show and the Kentucky Historical Society at history.ky.gov slash ka. Well, stick around because season two is Heather just teased it perfectly of Kentucky Ancestors premieres right here after the break.